Hi, I'm Jerry, and I want to share with you a little bit about a woman who was extremely dynamic, Fanny Crosby. One of the things that I thought about was that she could have lived in wealth. Even though they were only paying her a couple of dollars per him. Back then. Back then, you were doing good to get a couple of dollars in a week. Yeah. And she's writing... 800? You know, 9,000 is what they... She said in her biography, probably in the uh, about 9,000 hymns, but she didn't even know how many. And right. she couldn't remember all the aliases that are pen that names. Used. So, um, the fact that she chose to live in the Bowery for about the last 20, 25 years of her life, mm -hmm. uh, helping with the rescue mission. So anyway, there's, like I said, she's a fascinating woman. If you've ever met a tornado, I'll bet you would have met her. Because for her to write that many hymns, and she didn't start, there's no recorded hymns until after the Civil War. Until then, uh, before the Civil War, she writes three books of poetry. And they're published. She didn't think much of the third one. She thought it needed more work. She knew presidents. She knew men who were rich and powerful. Um, she's recorded as the first woman to speak to a joint session of Congress. You know, that's what I say, what she talked about. <laughs> she, um, she wrote this one song, it's called My Savior First of All. And the line in it makes more sense now, knowing she's blind. I shall know him by the print of the nails. Oh, that's neat.
Hi everyone. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, hit the subscribe button right, right down, down there. Yeah, right there. And we appreciate your support by doing that. And it will also notify you when I have new videos out. Right down there. Here. Oh, it's over here. Right there, that little subscribe button. Yeah. We appreciate you just going and clicking on it. Thank you.